Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Zeus Master of Olympus, episode 15 today. But we're not carrying on with anything else because we completed the whole adventure last episode. It took us 14 episodes, so we're going to start with a new adventure today. We're still the old I.R. Cleverius, which I have been informed is more of a Roman way of naming things. I are cleverest, but we're gonna stick with it anyway. That's all good. Um, now I said before I didn't want to go through every single adventure here, uh, but at the same time I don't want to just jump from Zeus and Europa, which was uh, the easiest one, the first one we did, all the way up to the Trojan War, which it says is extremely challenging. Maybe we'll work ourselves into that. We'll work our way up to there. So. Um, I was thinking of maybe the Voyages of Jason here. We skip out a couple, and uh, now this is challenging. Zeus and Europa said it was fairly easy. Voyages of Jason is challenging, so we should give that a go. Overcome Zeus's curse to become one of the most celebrated rulers in all of Greece. This challenging adventure consists of five episodes. That should be perfect for us. How many was Zeus and Europa? Eight. Let's do this then. So uh, we're overcoming Zeus's curse, which means that's, that means uh, the big bad guy, the big boss, Zeus, is on our tail. He's not happy with us for some reason. Let's check out why. Zeus has put a curse on your family, the house of Aeolus, decreeing that it shall never rule an empire. There is only one way to lift the curse, and you will need the help of three of Greece's most famous heroes. Theseus purportedly knows more about this curse, but Hades is holding the hero captive in the underworld, and the great god will lose Cerberus upon anyone who dares to interfere with his plans for Theseus. Meanwhile, all of Greece is talking over the centaur's latest antics at Pyrithoas' wedding. Intoxicated as usual, the centaurs ruined the ceremony when they tried to carry off the bride. Now the centaurs are on a drunken rampage through Greece, looking for more wine, and leaders of cities everywhere are jealously hoarding their supplies of the beverage. You would be wise to do the same should you receive some. Oh, okay, okay, well that's just set the scene for us. The, uh, the goals here, fulfill a forthcoming quest, okay, so we don't really know what that is. Slay a monster and a treasury of 3,000. Let's go for the difficulty level of mortal again. It goes all the way up to... goes all the way up to Titan. Olympian. No, we want maybe... <sighs> Beginner, mortal, hero. So we're doing a challenging level with a slightly higher difficulty. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Right, this is our uh, this is our land. Let's check this out. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause the game so we don't lose any money or any time. Um, we'll have a good look around here. Ah, okay, okay. So a little bit of swamp land. There's loads of area for building and expansion. Oh, loads! Look at all this. I'm I'm paying attention to the little mini map down here as well. Uh, lots of beach here, which means that we can't go for fish or anything like that. There are fisheries available. Okay. But then lots of... There's a bit of coast here where we can we can build fish. That's fine. Build fisheries. Uh, more swamp planned again. And then this kind of oasis. This little pool here. Um, I'm looking here and just... Is this the only place where we can build crops? Let's have a look around. Wow, okay. So the only place we have for crops is here. Ha, huh, that might be a big deal. Um, so we also have the mission of slaying Cerberus. Uh, and we don't know where he's going to appear, really, do we? We don't really know. Um, so I'm going to keep it safe and start building the city probably around here. Let's get rid of that and make it nice and square. There we go. Finally, I think we should just check the world map, see what's going off in the world. This is us, up here. I, Iolcus? Iolcus? <laughs> Strange names, I'm terrible at pronouncing these names. And there is quite a few enemies here, a couple of enemies. Um, an area here, I assume the quest is going to be down there. And a couple of allies. Well, we've got three allies, that's all good. He buys cheese. Buys wood, olive oil, sells marble, and buys fleece. Okay. So, uh, 
maybe we can sell a little bit of wood. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. What do these guys have? Nothing. He needs wheat and fleece. Okay. Right, let's get started then. So I think we're just going to do the usual for now and go for some common housing. Something uh, like that. Maybe a little bit more than that. Yeah. Wrap a nice road around it before these buildings dissolve because they don't, uh, they're don't. they not attached to a road. Cool. And then we'll do the usual stuff of like an agora and a fountain. Is this a good way to do it along the side here? Normally what I'd do is just squeeze it all in at the end here. But I've decided for some reason to do it this way around. Um, we can't place a, a tax office because we can't place a temple My by the looks of it. Sacred, and I trust only you to carry it out. Ah, so this is the mission. Apollo, the god Apollo has sent us to, three, uh, to free Theseus. Huh, he's in the underworld, okay. Only he Hercules can free him, okay. So we then now, we have a hall available for Hercules. Ooh, this is, uh, okay. Let's see then, let's see, this is going to be a big deal. I'm curious as where this monster's going to come in as well. That's going to be a bit of a problem for us, potentially. Um, we need an infirmary as well, so we'll stick that on the, at the end there. And I'll tell you what, I'll just fill this entire area with roadblocks, which means, which kind of forces the infirmary to just stick to the path here. There we go, as he's walking around. Um, now we do need some food production. And we can place these farms, look. We do have farms available to us. Ah, this is a bit a bit of a shame. We have these farms. We can either grow wheat or carrots. We can also do uh, sheep and goats and stuff. But we only have this tiny, tiny area available uh, to grow things. Huh. i tell you what we'll do. We desperately are going to need food. So let's go for a couple of fisheries. To start off with, for sure. Um, will three do? Is that not going to be enough? Let's go for four and then we'll connect all this. We just got a message there about a uh, Olympic Games. Pythian Games. Of course we can't do anything because we don't have any culture whatsoever. So uh, yeah, that's kind of irrelevant to us. Right, here we go. So I'll put a roadblock down. Uh, we need a roadblock here as well, I just realised. And I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go for a food vendor. Now these guys are going to make fish. Now can we store... We can't store fish in the storehouse, so it's going to have to be the granary here. Um, and I'll tell you what, I'll put it there, which is... Yeah, that's close enough. That's close enough to the, uh, the Agora there. Uh, and we just got a gift of wine from one of our allies, but we don't have any storage, so I'll just postpone that for a moment while we figure out how to put some storage down, um, or where to put some storage. Yeah, whatever, something like that, that'll do. I'll tell you what, we can tidy this up a bit. There we go. Cool. Now, one of the things I saw, actually, was the ability... Uh, oh, we don't even have it. I was going to say we can place uh, some nice aesthetic buildings, but we don't have any available to us. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so I'll, I'll I'll talk about that later if we do have the if that becomes available later on. What's this guy doing? Okay, it was avoiding the the roadblocks there, but he was going back to base. It was going back to his infirmary, so we'll let him off. So, uh, of course, we need to expand a little bit, so let's just have a quick look at the amount of food we have. I'm a bit concerned about that. Okay, yeah, this is challenging. This is very challenging compared to last, uh, last episodes, where it was really easy. We had food everywhere. This guy demands wood. He's our enemy, but uh, yeah, so screw him. going to add a, a few more houses a few more houses here just to get everything up and running and uh, then we're going to need the usual again i guess we can put an infirmary down on this side this time that'll be good 
maintenance. Is there anything else? Oh, of course we need the Agora. Uh, maybe we should have put the Agora up here. Yeah, that would kind of look better. I'm not going to waste... It would be nice if we put the stuff here so it would be like a mirror opposite of that, but uh, whatever, we'll, we'll leave that. I'm just a little bit concerned that people over here might not get enough water. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, this only has half labour as well. It's only got two employees and it needs four. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that as more people rush in, as we get more people coming in. Okay, now it's got three employees. <laughs> I don't know how they're going to carry the water around with three employees. <laughs> of course, they need uh, you need one person at each side. Here we go, look. Look at that. It needs to be one person either side of the bucket. So if one guy's on his own, he's going to have a bad back by the end of the day for sure. <laughs> right, let's place another food agora here. And it's saying no goods, which at least it doesn't say too distant. So it should... Yeah, that's close enough. That's close enough for it. And yeah, the granary does accept fish. So we're all good there. We're all good. Now we need a little bit of money. Uh, here is one of our allies, Lemnos. He actually buys wood. Uh, and seeing as someone was demanding wood from us, we should be okay. Uh, the current food production here can support 1,200 people. Simply with four fisheries, which are all going after this one little school, uh, school of fish here. Look at that. <laughs> They're going to be fished away straight uh, very quickly. Luckily, that's not a mechanic here in Zeus. More wine. This guy's demanding food. Screw that guy. Screw that guy. He's going to be really angry with us. Yeah. He's going to be mad with us. Our houses have slightly evolved here, and now they need culture to evolve any further. Um, right, let's just have a look at the amount of unemployed people. We've got about 58... We'll wait for everyone to settle in and then we'll think about it because um, there's a few things we can do. We need a little bit of industry going. Uh, there's all these... Yeah, okay. There's all these uh, trees here. This little forest area. Let's go for maybe three. And I'm a little bit concerned. So let's, let's place a maintenance office. We might not need it. This guy's roaming back and forth. We might not need it for such a small area. In fact, I, I don't think we will. Okay, let's save some labour. Okay, so our treasury has fallen below the goal. We need 3,000, but uh, you got to spend a bit of money to make a bit of money, as they say. So let's get a trading, close, uh, trading post here with Lemnos. It's actually a pier. Uh, I'll pop it in there. And something like that. Yeah, okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put a roadblock here and here. Which will mean that uh, these guys storing goods ignore the roadblock. So they'll be going fast as anything back and forth. Storing their stuff. But the maintenance will have to walk past the pier here. Maybe that's a good way to do it. We'll see. We'll see if anything collapses. And I would want to put storage there, but we've literally just roadblocked the uh, the maintenance office off there, um, so that would collapse. So I'll tell you what, we'll put it. We'll put it there. Cool. <coughs> yeah, that'll do. That'll do for now. And we will sell wood because we have no need for it whatsoever. So I'll tell you what, we'll. We'll get four, uh, 24 wood there. Cool. Uh, so we're, we're stocking up on wood. We're hopefully going to make a little bit of money. Uh, so this guy's buying wood from us. Can this guy buy anything? Fleece. We probably need all the fleece we can manage to produce, to be honest. With such a small area to produce food on. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to need that. Huh, okay. So these guys need culture to evolve. What? Let's just double check what our unemployment was. 20 people. 
Uh, yeah, we can work with that. We can we can do something there. Let's go for a. Ah, I'm not sure how the best way to do this is. Anywhere we're going to place this is going to reduce the appeal, and we have no way of increasing the appeal at the moment. So we've just got to bear that in mind that some of these buildings won't be able to evolve past a certain point. Because look at this, the appeal is terrible. It's pretty much as bad as the, in the industrial area. <laughs> Which is something we don't want at all, so... Um, uh, yeah, there's, there's going to be a certain limit to these buildings, for sure. Now they need fleece as well. Okay, no, no. They have upgraded, they have upgraded, brilliant. Um, and this might be the limit of what they're... Yeah, look at this, it's reduced the neighbourhood's appeal. Can't even upgrade from a shack. <laughs> it's that bad. It's that bad. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's place this hero's hall. And see what we can do there. Where was it? There we go. Hercules, because this needs to be done. Oh, this is the Cerebrus. Oh, bollocks. It's like literally, ah, oh, it's like the worst possible place. Um, we could send this stuff to this guy. Is he the one that claimed it? Yeah, look at this. We can, uh... Nah, screw him. Let's just get him angry. Let's not send our valuable resources to him. Ah, uh, this dog could have been anywhere. We could have started the base all the way down here. Uh, I guess that was just a gamble. So we can't go any further north than, than this. We maybe even should build a little a little wall. Or would that start to pester him? Um, and we'll just leave him to his own devices for now and expand the city down this way. That's probably the best bet. We've still got enough food, so we're all good there. Um, cool. So this is going to be tight. Did we place that hero's hall? We didn't. Okay. Let's just place it here for now and then see. Okay, so excellent citywide gymnasium access. We do have excellent coverage. That's all right. From only uh, two gyms there, we've got excellent coverage. So I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, Hercules' Hall itself needs excellent culture access. So not just gymnasiums. It needs everything. Uh, we need to at least win one game. And we need 1,500 people in the city. Okay, so these are fairly achievable. I think uh, once we start building culture buildings to give Hercules' Hall excellent culture access, we should win a game as well. And um, luckily we're heavily, heavily unemployed. So what we can do, which is, <laughs> you never hear anyone say that. Hey, luckily we're heavily unemployed. We have a mad unemployment problem. <laughs> a third of the people living in the city are unemployed. Um, let's go for this culture then. Let's let's stack all this up with crazy culture. Um, so we've got two colleges and of course the college comes with a podium. I think we could pull a cheeky trick here and put the podium... Uh, yeah, screw that guy. Okay. We can put the podium next to Hercules' hall. So when the, um, when the philosophers come down to speak at the podium, they'll have to walk past Hercules' hall. Which is going to be perfect for us. And where is that? Oh, where is where is it? Oh no. Okay, so the, oh, there is some farmland up here as well. Okay, I must have I missed that out. It's the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little bit of farmland. That's its area. That's its area that's roaming around. And we have a collapsed building. Okay. Oh, maybe that was my fault. Probably completely my fault there. Let's, let's rebuild that. Where are we looking? Fishery. There we go. And I'm just going to double check for hazards. Well, I mean, what we could do is we could have put a, a maintenance office there and then get rid of this one. That might work. That might work. Let's, uh, let's keep an eye on that. And whatever. We'll, we'll replace that, I think. Now one of the things we are doing is of course selling all this wood and it looks like the... Uh, we lost it, we're losing games, okay that's fine, that's fine though. Um, 
So what we need, we don't want to build up too much wood, right? So we need a nice ratio of selling all of the wood that we produce. We don't want to be not producing enough wood and missing out on money. Um, but at the same time, we don't want to be overproducing wood. And I think this is a good ratio, actually. It looks like we're slightly underproducing wood here. Um, we'll see by the end of the year if we manage to sell these other three planks of wood here. We'll keep an eye on that, but that looks like a good ratio. Selling 24 loads a year and also having three timber mills. It looks almost perfect, actually, so uh, that's cool. It looks like we're going to sell the final amount here, so... I was going to build some more timber mills, but in fact, that's... It was a pleasure doing that's business fantastic. with you. That's <laughs> fantastic. I hope Aeolus guides us home. Yeah, brilliant. It was a pleasure doing business with you as well, pal. Cheers. <laughs> um... Yeah, so we've got to look at the culture. I just had a, a brain freeze there for a minute, thinking about what we've got to do. We need drama schools and things like that as well. Now, one of the things we need is... Uh, <clears throat> we need, um... Like a theatre. And I almost want people to walk past Hercules' hall to get to the theatre. Um... This guy's our ally. We'll send him some food. That's cool. Yeah, I want people to walk past Hercules' hall to get to the theatre. So um, we can either try and build a new city, a new area, or we can relocate Hercules' hall. But I'm going to call the episode here, guys. Um, I hope you're happy with my decision to carry on with some more Zeus Master of Olympus. I do enjoy this game, and this is definitely... Definitely more challenging actually you can tell straight away. It's way more challenging than that first Zoop and Europa campaign Wow, this is like, like We don't even have access to aesthetic buildings. So all the the whole city just looks like shit <laughs> It's just dirty um, So yeah, I'm, I'm up for this challenge. We've got it set to hero level as well I hope you enjoyed this episode guys and I will see you guys next time for another episode of let's play Zeus Master of Olympus.